Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you about uh, how do we create a shortcut in the part 23. In order to create the shortcut of any program on the desktop, right click on the mouse, select the new option from the pop-up, select shortcut option, then it will open a pop-up window and that browse the location of the program which you want to create the shortcut. So why do we create a shortcut? Uh, generally there will be a set of uh, programs or set of files where you want to create a shortcut to the desktop so what is the first thing happens when you start your computer when you start your computer the first screen you'll be seeing is a desktop right so this is the fastest way to get an items and to do the to get view something on the screen so I can see a list of softwares that are being installed and uh, it is easy to access and everything right and you have created certain folders uh, in uh, different things different folders in particular directories okay so for example on the desktop or or any other directory um, users okay or something public so in this I'm trying to create a new file okay or something public music which are already created or let me browse something else mm. okay or let me go to some program files 7 zip this is installed and I wanted to create this software as a shortcut okay so that it can be easy for me mm, to have it on so the, you have an option right click okay and you can see many different options send it to desktop okay so it creates the shortcut on the desktop so when it opens so it will open you that particular application normally what we have to do is we have to go to the windows program files then 7-zip then select this application so there are several steps that are involved you know to go to good you need to go to my computer select windows 7 c drive select drive program files and zip so by creating the shortcut for these programs then it will be easy for you as a quick refer not only this you can create any any folders as a shortcuts and everything so suppose language okay so this i want to create a shortcut then you can create a shortcut to this so this will be very useful okay so instead of rather every time going back to the path and searching for it so you will have a quick shortcut to this and it will be easy to you for a reference thank you so much for watching this tutorial